The truck has a mass of 3,300 kilo, uh, kilograms moving at 30 meters per second. Okay. It strikes the back of a car traveling at 2 meters per second in the opposite direction. Okay. The car and its occupants has a mass of 100 and uh, 1,114 kilograms. What is the speed of the car just after the impact? if the car and the truck locks together okay so again we have this scenario where we have two things locking together we have a truck and uh, it's racing down the road at 13 meters per second and we have a car coming in the opposite direction okay and this car is traveling at 2 meters per second but very important to notice here, because they're in opposite directions, they can't have the same sign. So one of them has to be negative. Which one? Well, here we read, let the original direction of the truck be positive. So make sure to read your questions very carefully. So that one must be negative since he's in the opposite direction of the truck. Okay? And the original direction of the truck must be positive. Okay? I think I might have said that wrong. Okay? No matter. Okay? So what do we have? We have a mass of uh, 3,300 kilograms and we also have a mass of 1,114 kilograms so this one what is the momentum before and the momentum after well before we have 3,300 okay so actually let's let's use formulas to get into the habit of writing neat formulas okay so we have the mass of the truck times the velocity of the truck plus the mass of the car times the velocity of the car car okay that is what we have before because before there are two distinct pieces in this system afterwards they get stuck together okay so then they crash and they get stuck together I'm not going to draw that for time's sake but that means then we have a truck car okay then we have a truck car and we will have a velocity of a truck car now the truck car's velocity is sim uh, mass I mean is simply the mass of the truck plus the mass of the car okay times the velocity of the truck car and and that's it so let's go substitute in what we do know well we know the mass of the truck was 3300 kilograms its velocity was 13 meters per second plus the mass of the car is 1114 okay and its velocity is 2 meters per second. Oh no, I've got it wrong. It's negative 2. It's in the opposite direction. Okay. Afterwards, they get stuck together. And that means that the new mass of the truck car, assuming that nothing got lost, of course. Okay. And, and that is always just an assumption we're going to make in these questions. And the velocity of the truck car is what we're trying to calculate. Okay, so let's see. What does it simplify to? So we have that the velocity of the truck car is equal to okay now you might just ask me but wait they only ask for the velocity of the car okay but obviously the velocity of the car it's it's part of a bigger thing would be the same as the velocity of the bigger thing the truck car so ho hopefully that made sense so 3300 times 13 minus or let's make it plus 1114 times negative 2 divided by this if we add it together I'm just going to add it together gives me 4414 okay and let's see what do we get using our calculator so we have 3300 times 13 plus 1114 times 2 but a negative 2 is equal to that divided by 4414 and that gives me 9.2 so we're going to move at 9,21 meters per second in which direction okay well it's positive it's positive so it's in the original direction in the original direction of the truck direction of the truck. That makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, let's go into the answers. Okay, so once again we see that the correct formula to use is this one, where we have two parts.
okay in this case the truck and the car or the car and the truck it doesn't matter and afterwards we they get stuck together so they have one velocity okay and one mass which is just their separate masses added together okay now what's the information that we have well here we know that the mass of the truck let's use one for the truck okay two for the car it doesn't matter which way around you do it okay uh, the velocity of the truck and the velocity of the car uh, sorry the mass of the car and the velocity of the car being negative two this time okay remember negative because it was in the opposite direction as the truck and we were told that the truck the original direction of the truck should be taken as positive okay and then we are supposed to type in our um, equation step our substitution step and I'm going to choose this one either, or you can use the second one as your substitution date let me do the second one to show you how to type it out again we ignore subscripts here but not in our written work please see how I did not ignore my subscripts in the written work okay so since everything in the numerator must uh, well everything in the top must be in the numerator I want to put that in brackets so I've got 3300 times 13 plus 1114 times negative 2 and I'll just put negative 2 also in a bracket okay and there you can see I close my bracket to show that that's everything in the numerator that has to be divided by what I have in the denominator well let me put in the denominator even the sum that I that I wanted to have 3300 plus 1114 that's almost uh, just a safer way of doing it let's preview and there we see oh that looks beautiful that's exactly what I want or what I had there at least okay so it looks good the denominator would simplify to 4414 but you can see I also put everything in the denominator in brackets to show that that all of it must go in the denominator so finally when I solve it I got that my velocity in the end when I solved it was positive 9.21 I don't need to write the positive okay meters per second and again don't forget to preview there we go 9.21 meters per second and again very important direction okay in the ori uh, original direction of the truck let's see what options we are given okay let me show in the direction the truck was traveling downwards unknown direction upwards in the opposite direction the truck was traveling okay so we see it's positive and they told us um, our answer is positive and they told us that the original direction the truck um, of the truck must be taken as positive so positive answer would be in the di direction the truck was traveling the original direction cool um, I'm happy with that I hope you are getting this with enough examples Cool, see you in the next one.